Acheulean Culture, Historical Insights and Lessons Learned Welcome to the History Forge channel. This video explores the Acheulean culture, divided into two parts, the first part delves into historical information, and the second part highlights the lessons learned from this fascinating period of early human evolution. Enjoy the journey through prehistory. Introduction to Acheulean Culture the Acheulean culture marks a pivotal epoch in early human technological and cognitive evolution, spanning from approximately 1.76 million years ago to about 130,000 years ago. This period is named after the site of saint Acheul in France, where some of the earliest Acheulean tools were discovered. The Acheulean is significant for its introduction of more advanced stone tool technologies, which signify a considerable leap in the cognitive capabilities of early hominins. Unlike the preceding Oldowan culture, which featured simpler tools, the Acheulean is characterized by its distinctive hand axes and bifacial tools, which reflect a more sophisticated approach to toolmaking. The geographical spread of the Acheulean culture is vast, encompassing much of Africa, parts of Europe, and Asia. This widespread distribution indicates not only the adaptability and migratory patterns of early hominins but also the success and utility of Acheulean tools in diverse environmental settings. These tools have been found in various contexts, from river terraces and open plains to caves and rock shelters, demonstrating their use in different habitats and for a range of purposes. The temporal span of the Acheulean is equally impressive, covering more than a million years. This longevity suggests that Acheulean technology was highly effective and resilient, providing early humans with reliable means for survival and adaptation over extensive periods and changing climates. The gradual improvements and regional variations in Acheulean tools also offer insights into the evolutionary processes and cultural developments of early human societies. Historical Discovery and Research the history of Acheulean discoveries is rich and varied, beginning with the initial findings by pioneering paleoanthropologists in the 19th and 20th centuries. Louis Leakey's work at Oldaway Gorge in Tanzania was instrumental in establishing the significance of the Acheulean culture. Leakey's excavations revealed a wealth of Acheulean tools, shedding light on the technological advancements of early humans and their spread across Africa. Subsequent research expanded beyond Africa to include significant sites in Europe and Asia. Notable discoveries at saint Acheul in France, Boxgrove in the UK, and various sites in the Indian subcontinent have provided crucial insights into the distribution and diversity of Acheulean tools. These findings demonstrate the widespread nature of the Acheulean culture and its adaptability to different environments. Archaeological methods have evolved significantly over the years, enabling more precise dating and detailed analysis of Acheulean sites. Advances in technology, such as radiometric dating techniques and computer tomography, have allowed researchers to gain a deeper understanding of the chronology and development of Acheulean tools. These methods have also helped to identify the transitions and overlaps between Acheulean and other contemporaneous cultures, providing a clearer picture of human evolution. The study of Acheulean culture has also benefited from interdisciplinary approaches, incorporating insights from anthropology, geology, and paleoclimatology. By examining the environmental and ecological contexts of Acheulean sites, researchers have been able to reconstruct the living conditions and subsistence strategies of early hominins. This holistic approach has enriched our understanding of how Acheulean technology fit into the broader landscape of human evolution. Characteristics of Acheulean Tools Acheulean tools are defined by their distinctive hand axes, cleavers, and flake tools, which exhibit a remarkable level of craftsmanship and standardization. Hand axes, the hallmark of Acheulean technology, are typically teardrop-shaped or oval and display bifacial flaking, where flakes are removed from both sides of a stone core to create a symmetrical and sharp-edged tool. These tools were likely used for a variety of tasks, including cutting, scraping, and processing animal carcasses. Cleavers, another important component of the Acheulean toolkit, feature a broad, straight edge, which was probably used for butchering and slicing. 
These tools, like hand axes, exhibit a high degree of standardization and symmetry, indicating sophisticated manufacturing techniques and an understanding of raw material properties. Flake tools, made from the byproducts of hand axe production, were also an integral part of the Acheulean toolkit. These smaller, more versatile tools were used for finer cutting and scraping tasks, showcasing the ability of Acheulean toolmakers to efficiently utilize available resources. The materials used in Acheulean toolmaking were predominantly stone, with flint, quartzite, and basalt being the most common. The selection of these materials reflects an understanding of their durability and workability, as well as the ability to source and transport suitable raw materials. The production of Acheulean tools involved a combination of hard hammer percussion, where a stone hammer is used to strike a core, and soft hammer percussion, where a softer material, such as bone or antler, is used to produce more precise and controlled flake removals. This combination of techniques allowed for the creation of tools with sharp, durable edges and a high degree of symmetry. Technological Advancements The technological advancements of the Acheulean culture represent a significant departure from the earlier Oldowan tools. Oldowan tools were relatively simple and often consisted of unmodified flakes and crude choppers. In contrast, Acheulean tools exhibit a greater degree of refinement and standardization, reflecting an evolution in both cognitive abilities and manufacturing techniques. One of the key innovations of the Acheulean culture was the development of bifacial flaking. This technique involves the systematic removal of flakes from both sides of a stone core to produce a sharp, symmetrical edge. Bifacial flaking allowed for the creation of more versatile and durable tools, which could be used for a wider range of tasks. The introduction of the Levalois technique in later Acheulean tools marks another significant technological advancement. The Levalois technique involves preparing a stone core in such a way that a single, uniform flake can be struck off, resulting in a tool with a predetermined shape. This method demonstrates an increased understanding of raw material properties and the ability to execute complex production sequences. The standardization of Acheulean tools also reflects an advancement in cognitive abilities. The ability to produce tools with consistent shapes and sizes indicates a high degree of planning, foresight, and manual dexterity. This level of standardization suggests that Acheulean toolmakers had a clear understanding of the desired end product and the steps required to achieve it. The versatility and durability of Acheulean tools would have had significant implications for the daily lives of early hominins. These tools would have enhanced their ability to process food, construct shelters, and defend against predators, thereby increasing their chances of survival and enabling them to adapt to a variety of environments. Cultural and Cognitive Implications The production and use of Acheulean tools have profound implications for our understanding of early human cognition and culture. The complexity and standardization of these tools suggest that Acheulean toolmakers possessed advanced cognitive abilities, including planning, problem-solving, and manual dexterity. The ability to create symmetrical and standardized tools indicates that Acheulean toolmakers had a clear understanding of the desired end product and the steps required to achieve it. This level of planning and foresight suggests that they were capable of abstract thinking and could envision the final tool before starting the production process. The production of Acheulean tools also required a high degree of manual dexterity and coordination. The ability to remove flakes in a controlled and systematic manner indicates that Acheulean toolmakers had developed fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. The use of Acheulean tools would have had significant implications for the daily lives of early hominins. These tools would have enhanced their ability to process food, construct shelters, and defend against predators, thereby increasing their chances of survival. The ability to create and use tools also suggests that Acheulean toolmakers had developed social learning and communication skills, as these complex techniques would have been passed down through generations. The sophistication of Acheulean tools also provides insights into the social organization and cultural practices of early hominins. The ability to produce standardized tools suggests that there may have been specialized roles within Acheulean communities, 
with certain individuals responsible for tool production. The presence of standardized tools across a wide geographical range also suggests that there was some form of cultural transmission and communication between different groups. Acheulean Sites and Distribution The Acheulean culture is characterized by its widespread distribution across Africa, Europe, and Asia, indicating the extensive range and adaptability of early hominins. Significant Acheulean sites have been discovered in various regions, providing valuable insights into the spread and diversity of this culture. In Africa, key Acheulean sites include Oldaway Gorge in Tanzania, where some of the earliest Acheulean tools were discovered, and the site of Alarjseli in Kenya, which has yielded a wealth of Acheulean artifacts. These sites provide important evidence of the technological and cognitive advancements of early hominins in Africa and their ability to adapt to different environments. In Europe, notable Acheulean sites include saint Achille in France, which gave its name to the culture, and Boxgrove in the UK, where well-preserved Acheulean tools and hominin remains have been found. These sites demonstrate the spread of Acheulean technology into Europe and the ability of early hominins to adapt to new environments. In Asia, significant Acheulean sites have been discovered in the Indian subcontinent, including the site of Isampur, which has yielded a rich assemblage of Acheulean tools. These discoveries provide valuable insights into the spread of Acheulean technology into Asia and the interactions between different hominin groups. The widespread distribution of Acheulean sites suggests that early hominins equipped with Acheulean tools were highly adaptable and capable of migrating over long distances. The presence of Acheulean tools in diverse environments, from open plains and river terraces to caves and rock shelters, indicates their versatility and utility in different contexts. The regional variations in Acheulean tools also provide insights into the adaptability and innovation of early hominins. While the core characteristics of Acheulean tools, such as bifacial flaking and symmetry, are consistent across different regions, there are notable differences in the specific forms and techniques used. These variations reflect the ability of Acheulean toolmakers to adapt their technology to local conditions and resources. Acheulean Lifestyle and Subsistence The Acheulean culture is not only significant for its technological advancements but also for the insights it provides into the lifestyle and subsistence strategies of early hominins. The tools and archaeological evidence associated with the Acheulean culture offer a glimpse into the daily lives of these early humans, including their hunting and gathering practices, diet, and use of fire. Acheulean tools, particularly hand axes and cleavers, would have been essential for processing animal carcasses and plant materials. The sharp, durable edges of these tools would have made them effective for butchering large animals, cutting through tough hides, and breaking bones to extract marrow. This suggests that Acheulean toolmakers were skilled hunters and scavengers, capable of exploiting a wide range of food resources. The presence of Acheulean tools at sites with animal bones and other organic remains provides further evidence of their subsistence strategies. The analysis of cut marks on bones indicates that Acheulean toolmakers engaged in systematic butchery, suggesting a reliance on meat as a significant part of their diet. The use of tools to process plant materials, such as roots and tubers, also indicates a diverse diet that included both animal and plant foods. The use of fire is another important aspect of the Acheulean lifestyle. Evidence of controlled use of fire has been found at several Acheulean sites, including hearths and burnt bones. The ability to control fire would have had significant implications for early hominins, providing warmth, protection from predators, and a means to cook food. Cooking would have made food easier to digest and safer to eat, enhancing nutritional intake and reducing the risk of foodborne illnesses. The use of fire also suggests a degree of social organization and cooperation, as maintaining and using fire would have required collective effort and knowledge sharing. The presence of fire at Acheulean sites indicates that these early humans had developed social structures and communication skills, which would have been crucial for their survival and adaptation. Shelter and Living Spaces 
Ashley Insights provide valuable insights into the living spaces and shelter construction of early hominins. The archaeological evidence suggests that Acheulean toolmakers used a variety of natural shelters and constructed habitats to protect themselves from the elements and predators. Natural shelters, such as caves and rock shelters, were commonly used by Acheulean toolmakers. These sites provided protection from the weather and predators, as well as a stable environment for tool production and other activities. The presence of Acheulean tools and hearths in these shelters indicates that they were used for extended periods, suggesting a degree of sedentism and site reuse. In addition to natural shelters, there is evidence that Acheulean toolmakers constructed temporary shelters using available materials. Archaeological sites with post holes and other structural remains suggest that early hominins built simple huts or windbreaks to provide additional protection and comfort. These structures would have been particularly important in open environments where natural shelters were scarce. The spatial organization of Acheulean living areas provides further insights into their lifestyle and social organization. At some sites, tools and other artifacts are found in distinct clusters, suggesting designated areas for specific activities, such as tool production, butchery, and cooking. This spatial organization indicates a level of planning and cooperation, as well as an understanding of the functional needs of different tasks. The use of both natural and constructed shelters reflects the adaptability and resourcefulness of Acheulean toolmakers. Their ability to create and utilize a variety of living spaces would have enhanced their ability to survive and thrive in different environments, from open plains and river terraces to more sheltered and protected locations. Acheulean and Hominin Evolution The Acheulean culture is closely associated with several key hominin species, including Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, and early Homo sapiens. The technological advancements and cognitive abilities reflected in Acheulean tools provide valuable insights into the evolutionary processes and adaptations of these early humans. Homo erectus is one of the primary species associated with the Acheulean culture. This species, which emerged around 1.9 million years ago, is characterized by its larger brain size, increased body size, and more advanced toolmaking capabilities compared to earlier hominins. The association of Homo erectus with Acheulean tools suggests that this species played a significant role in the development and spread of Acheulean technology. The cognitive and physical adaptations of Homo erectus would have facilitated the production and use of Acheulean tools. The larger brain size of Homo erectus is associated with increased cognitive abilities, including planning, problem-solving, and social learning. These cognitive skills would have been essential for the complex and standardized production of Acheulean tools. Homo heidelbergensis, another hominin species associated with the Acheulean culture, emerged around 600,000 years ago. This species is considered a transitional form between Homo erectus and later species, such as Neanderthals and modern humans. The presence of Acheulean tools at Homo heidelbergensis sites suggests that this species continued to develop and refine Acheulean technology. The evolution of Homo heidelbergensis reflects further advancements in cognitive abilities and social behavior. This species exhibited increased brain size and more complex social structures, which would have supported the continued use and innovation of Acheulean tools. The presence of standardized tools across different Homo heidelbergensis sites indicates cultural transmission and communication between groups. Early Homo sapiens, emerging around 300,000 years ago, are also associated with the later stages of the Acheulean culture. The transition from Acheulean to Middle Paleolithic technologies, such as the Mousterian, reflects the ongoing evolution of toolmaking capabilities and cognitive abilities. The presence of Acheulean tools at early Homo sapiens sites suggests that these early humans inherited and built upon the technological legacy of their predecessors. Symbolism and Social Behavior The Acheulean culture, with its advanced toolmaking techniques and widespread distribution, provides valuable insights into the social behavior and potential symbolic practices of early hominins. While direct evidence of symbolic behavior is scarce, 
the complexity and standardization of Acheulean tools suggest that early humans engaged in social learning, communication, and possibly early forms of symbolic thought. The production of Acheulean tools required a high degree of skill and knowledge, which would have been transmitted through social learning and teaching. The presence of standardized tools across different regions indicates that these techniques were shared and passed down through generations, suggesting the existence of social structures and communication within Acheulean communities. The ability to create and use tools also implies that Acheulean toolmakers had developed complex social behaviors and cooperative strategies. The production of large hand axes and other tools would have required coordination and cooperation, indicating that early hominins worked together and shared resources. This level of social organization would have been crucial for their survival and adaptation to different environments. The potential for symbolic behavior in Acheulean culture is suggested by the presence of aesthetically pleasing and symmetrical tools. While these tools were primarily functional, their standardized and often aesthetically pleasing shapes may indicate an early appreciation for form and symmetry. This suggests that Acheulean toolmakers may have had a sense of aesthetics and possibly engaged in early forms of symbolic thought. The use of fire in Acheulean culture also provides insights into social behavior and communication. The ability to control and maintain fire would have required collective effort and knowledge sharing, indicating a degree of social cooperation and organization. Fire would have provided a focal point for social activities, such as cooking, protection, and warmth, fostering social bonds and communication within groups. Environmental Context The Acheulean culture emerged and developed during a period of significant environmental changes, which played a crucial role in shaping the behavior and adaptations of early hominins. The environmental context of Acheulean sites provides valuable insights into how early humans adapted to different habitats and responded to climatic fluctuations. During the Acheulean period, the climate underwent several changes, including fluctuations between glacial and interglacial periods. These climatic changes would have influenced the availability of resources and the distribution of habitats, requiring Acheulean toolmakers to be highly adaptable and resourceful. The presence of Acheulean tools in a variety of environments, from open savannas and river terraces to more sheltered caves and rock shelters, indicates that early hominins were capable of exploiting diverse habitats. The ability to adapt to different environments would have been crucial for their survival, allowing them to move and settle in new areas as conditions changed. The analysis of animal bones and plant remains at Acheulean sites provides insights into the subsistence strategies of early hominins. The presence of large herbivores, such as elephants, rhinoceroses, and bovids, suggests that Acheulean toolmakers engaged in hunting and scavenging activities. The use of tools to process plant materials, such as roots and tubers, indicates a diverse diet that included both animal and plant foods. The environmental context of Acheulean sites also provides insights into the technological innovations and adaptations of early hominins. The development of bifacial flaking and other advanced toolmaking techniques reflects the need for more effective and versatile tools to exploit available resources. The use of fire for cooking and protection would have further enhanced their ability to adapt to changing environments and exploit a wider range of resources. Comparative Analysis with Other Cultures The Acheulean culture, with its distinctive tools and widespread distribution, can be compared to other contemporaneous and subsequent cultures to provide a broader understanding of human technological and cognitive evolution. A comparative analysis with the Oldowan culture, which preceded the Acheulean, and the Mousterian culture, which followed it, highlights the advancements and innovations of Acheulean toolmakers. The Oldowan culture, dating from approximately 2.6 million to 1.5 million years ago, is characterized by its simple stone tools, such as choppers and flakes. These tools were produced using a relatively straightforward technique, involving the removal of a few flakes from a stone core. In contrast, Acheulean tools exhibit a higher degree of sophistication and standardization, with the introduction of bifacial flaking and more complex tool forms, such as hand axes and cleavers. 
The technological advancements of the Acheulean culture reflect significant cognitive and motor skill development, including planning, problem-solving, and manual dexterity. The transition from Acheulean to Mysterian culture, which began around 160,000 years ago, marks another important phase in human technological evolution. The Mysterian culture is associated with Neanderthals and early modern humans and is characterized by its use of the Levalois technique, which allowed for the production of uniform, standardized flakes from prepared cores. While the Levalois technique was present in the later stages of the Acheulean culture, it became more widespread and refined during the Mysterian period. This transition reflects ongoing advancements in cognitive abilities and toolmaking techniques, as well as the influence of changing environmental and social conditions. A comparative analysis with other contemporaneous cultures, such as the Clactonian and the Abavillian, further highlights the diversity and regional variations in early human technology. The Clactonian culture, which coexisted with the Acheulean in some regions of Europe, is characterized by its use of flake tools and the absence of hand axes. The Abavillian culture, an earlier phase of the Acheulean, features crude bifacial tools that represent a transitional stage between Oldowan and Acheulean technologies. These comparisons underscore the adaptability and innovation of early hominins, as they developed and refined different toolmaking techniques in response to local conditions and resources. Controversies and Debates The study of Acheulean culture has not been without controversies and debates, as researchers seek to understand the origins, development, and implications of this significant phase in human evolution. One of the main debate centers around the origins and spread of Acheulean technology. Some researchers argue that Acheulean tools first emerged in Africa and then spread to other regions through migration and cultural transmission, while others suggest that similar technological advancements may have developed independently in different areas. Another area of debate involves the cognitive and social implications of Acheulean tools. While the complexity and standardization of these tools suggest advanced cognitive abilities, there is ongoing discussion about the extent to which Acheulean toolmakers possessed symbolic thought and language. Some researchers argue that the production of standardized tools indicates early forms of symbolic behavior and communication, while others caution against overinterpreting the archaeological evidence. The transition from Acheulean to Middle Paleolithic cultures, such as the Mysterian, also raises questions about the continuity and innovation of toolmaking techniques. The presence of Levalois technology in later Acheulean tools suggests a gradual evolution of technological capabilities, but the factors driving these changes remain a topic of debate. Some researchers emphasize the role of environmental pressures and resource availability, while others highlight the importance of social and cultural factors in shaping technological development. Modern Understanding and Impact Advances in archaeological methods and technologies have significantly enhanced our understanding of the Acheulean culture and its impact on human evolution. Techniques such as radiometric dating, computer tomography, and 3D modeling have allowed researchers to gain more precise and detailed insights into the chronology, production techniques, and use of Acheulean tools. These methods have also helped to identify the transitions and overlaps between Acheulean and other contemporaneous cultures, providing a clearer picture of human technological evolution. The study of Acheulean culture has also benefited from interdisciplinary approaches, incorporating insights from anthropology, geology, and paleoclimatology. By examining the environmental and ecological contexts of Acheulean sites, Researchers have been able to reconstruct the living conditions and subsistence strategies of early hominins. This holistic approach has enriched our understanding of how Acheulean technology fit into the broader landscape of human evolution. The impact of Acheulean discoveries extends beyond the academic realm, influencing public perceptions of human history and evolution. Exhibitions and educational programs featuring Acheulean tools and archaeological sites have helped to raise awareness of the significance of this culture and its contributions to our understanding of early human behavior. The Acheulean culture, with its advanced tools and widespread distribution, 
serves as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of early hominins, highlighting the deep roots of human technological and cognitive evolution. Conclusion The Acheulean culture represents a pivotal phase in the technological and cognitive evolution of early humans, characterized by its distinctive hand axes, cleavers, and other advanced stone tools. Spanning over a million years and encompassing a wide geographical range, the Acheulean culture reflects the adaptability, ingenuity, and social organization of early hominins. The study of Acheulean tools and sites has provided valuable insights into the daily lives, subsistence strategies, and environmental adaptations of early humans, as well as their cognitive and social capabilities. The ongoing research and debates surrounding Acheulean culture continue to enrich our understanding of human evolution, highlighting the complexities and innovations that shape the development of early human societies. The legacy of the Acheulean culture, with its technological advancements and widespread impact, serves as a testament to the enduring ingenuity and adaptability of our early ancestors, providing a foundation for the subsequent phases of human history and technological development. Here comes the lesson learned. The study of Acheulean culture provides a rich tapestry of insights into the technological, cognitive, and social evolution of early hominins. Spanning from approximately 1.76 million years ago to about 130,000 years ago, the Acheulean era marks a significant period in human prehistory. Through the examination of Acheulean tools and sites, researchers have gleaned valuable lessons that inform our understanding of early human behavior, adaptation, and cultural development. This analysis will delve into the multifaceted lessons learned from the Acheulean culture, exploring technological advancements, cognitive implications, social structures, environmental adaptations, and the broader impact on our understanding of human evolution. One of the primary lessons learned from the Acheulean culture is the remarkable evolution of toolmaking techniques. Acheulean tools, particularly hand axes and cleavers, represent a significant leap in technological sophistication compared to the earlier Oldowan tools. The introduction of bifacial flaking, which involves the removal of flakes from both sides of a stone core to produce a sharp, symmetrical edge, marks a major advancement in early human technology. This technique not only reflects improved manual dexterity but also a deeper understanding of raw material properties and the principles of tool design. The standardization of Acheulean tools, characterized by their consistent shapes and sizes, indicates a high level of planning and foresight. The ability to produce uniform tools suggests that Acheulean toolmakers had a clear mental template of the desired end product and the steps required to achieve it. This level of cognitive control and precision is a testament to the evolving cognitive abilities of early hominids. The technological innovations of the Acheulean culture had far-reaching implications for early human societies. The production of more effective and durable tools enhanced the ability of early hominins to exploit a wider range of resources. Hand axes and cleavers, with their sharp and robust edges, were versatile tools that could be used for cutting, scraping, and processing animal carcasses and plant materials. This versatility would have been crucial for survival, enabling early humans to adapt to diverse environments and dietary needs. The introduction of the Levalois technique in later Acheulean tools represents another significant technological innovation. This technique involves preparing a stone core to produce a single, uniform flake, which can then be used as a tool. The Levalois technique reflects an advanced understanding of stone napping and raw material properties, as well as the ability to plan and execute complex production sequences. The adoption of this technique in later Acheulean tools highlights the continuous evolution of technological capabilities and the drive for efficiency and effectiveness in toolmaking. The cognitive implications of Acheulean toolmaking are profound. The complexity and standardization of Acheulean tools suggest that early hominins possessed advanced cognitive abilities, including planning, problem-solving, and manual dexterity. 
The production of symmetrical and standardized tools indicates that Acheulean toolmakers had a clear understanding of the desired end product and the steps required to achieve it. This level of planning and foresight suggests that they were capable of abstract thinking and could envision the final tool before starting the production process. The ability to create and use tools also implies that Acheulean toolmakers had developed complex social behaviors and cooperative strategies. The production of large hand axes and other tools would have required coordination and cooperation, indicating that early hominins worked together and shared resources. This level of social organization would have been crucial for their survival and adaptation to different environments. The use of Acheulean tools would have had significant implications for the daily lives of early hominins. These tools would have enhanced their ability to process food, construct shelters, and defend against predators, thereby increasing their chances of survival. The ability to create and use tools also suggests that Acheulean toolmakers had developed social learning and communication skills, as these complex techniques would have been passed down through generations. The sophistication of Acheulean tools also provides insights into the social organization and cultural practices of early hominins. The ability to produce standardized tools suggests that there may have been specialized roles within Acheulean communities, with certain individuals responsible for tool production. The presence of standardized tools across a wide geographical range also suggests that there was some form of cultural transmission and communication between different groups. The widespread distribution of Acheulean sites suggests that early hominins equipped with Acheulean tools were highly adaptable and capable of migrating over long distances. The presence of Acheulean tools in diverse environments, from open plains and river terraces to caves and rock shelters, indicates their versatility and utility in different contexts. The regional variations in Acheulean tools also provide insights into the adaptability and innovation of early hominins. While the core characteristics of Acheulean tools, such as bifacial flaking and symmetry, are consistent across different regions, there are notable differences in the specific forms and techniques used. These variations reflect the ability of Acheulean toolmakers to adapt their technology to local conditions and resources. The Acheulean culture is closely associated with several key hominin species, including Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, and early Homo sapiens. The technological advancements and cognitive abilities reflected in Acheulean tools provide valuable insights into the evolutionary processes and adaptations of these early humans. Homo erectus is one of the primary species associated with the Acheulean culture. This species, which emerged around 1.9 million years ago, is characterized by its larger brain size, increased body size, and more advanced toolmaking capabilities compared to earlier hominins. The association of Homo erectus with Acheulean tools suggests that this species played a significant role in the development and spread of Acheulean technology. The cognitive and physical adaptations of Homo erectus would have facilitated the production and use of Acheulean tools. The larger brain size of Homo erectus is associated with increased cognitive abilities, including planning, problem-solving, and social learning. These cognitive skills would have been essential for the complex and standardized production of Acheulean tools. Homo heidelbergensis, another hominin species associated with the Acheulean culture, emerged around 600,000 years ago. This species is considered a transitional form between Homo erectus and later species, such as Neanderthals and modern humans. The presence of Acheulean tools at Homo heidelbergensis sites suggests that this species continued to develop and refine Acheulean technology. The evolution of Homo heidelbergensis reflects further advancements in cognitive abilities and social behavior. This species exhibited increased brain size and more complex social structures, which would have supported the continued use and innovation of Acheulean tools. The presence of standardized tools across different Homo heidelbergensis sites indicates cultural transmission and communication between groups. Early Homo sapiens, emerging around 300,000 years ago, are also associated with the later stages of the Acheulean culture. 
The transition from Acheulean to Middle Paleolithic technologies, such as the Mousterian, reflects the ongoing evolution of toolmaking capabilities and cognitive abilities. The presence of Acheulean tools at early Homo sapien sites suggests that these early humans inherited and built upon the technological legacy of their predecessors. The Acheulean culture, with its advanced toolmaking techniques and widespread distribution, provides valuable insights into the social behavior and potential symbolic practices of early hominins. While direct evidence of symbolic behavior is scarce, the complexity and standardization of Acheulean tools suggest that early humans engaged in social learning, communication, and possibly early forms of symbolic thought. The production of Acheulean tools required a high degree of skill and knowledge, which would have been transmitted through social learning and teaching. The presence of standardized tools across different regions indicates that these techniques were shared and passed down through generations, suggesting the existence of social structures and communication within Acheulean communities. The ability to create and use tools also implies that Acheulean toolmakers had developed complex social behaviors and cooperative strategies. The production of large hand axes and other tools would have required coordination and cooperation, indicating that early hominins worked together and shared resources. This level of social organization would have been crucial for their survival and adaptation to different environments. The potential for symbolic behavior in Acheulean culture is suggested by the presence of aesthetically pleasing and symmetrical tools. While these tools were primarily functional, their standardized and often aesthetically pleasing shapes may indicate an early appreciation for form and symmetry. This suggests that Acheulean toolmakers may have had a sense of aesthetics and possibly engaged in early forms of symbolic thought. The use of fire in Acheulean culture also provides insights into social behavior and communication. The ability to control and maintain fire would have required collective effort and knowledge sharing, indicating a degree of social cooperation and organization. Fire would have provided a focal point for social activities, such as cooking, protection, and warmth, fostering social bonds and communication within groups. The Acheulean culture emerged and developed during a period of significant environmental changes, which played a crucial role in shaping the behavior and adaptations of early hominins. The environmental context of Acheulean sites provides valuable insights into how early humans adapted to different habitats and responded to climatic fluctuations. During the Acheulean period, the climate underwent several changes, including fluctuations between glacial and interglacial periods. These climatic changes would have influenced the availability of resources and the distribution of habitats, requiring Acheulean toolmakers to be highly adaptable and resourceful. The presence of Acheulean tools in a variety of environments, from open savannas and river terraces to more sheltered caves and rock shelters, indicates that early hominins were capable of exploiting diverse habitats. The ability to adapt to different environments would have been crucial for their survival, allowing them to move and settle in new areas as conditions changed. The analysis of animal bones and plant remains at Acheulean sites provides insights into the subsistence strategies of early hominins. The presence of large herbivores, such as elephants, rhinoceroses, and bovids, suggests that Acheulean toolmakers engaged in hunting and scavenging activities. The use of tools to process plant materials, such as roots and tubers, indicates a diverse diet that included both animal and plant foods. The environmental context of Acheulean sites also provides insights into the technological innovations and adaptations of early hominins. The development of bifacial flaking and other advanced toolmaking techniques reflects the need for more effective and versatile tools to exploit available resources. The use of fire for cooking and protection would have further enhanced their ability to adapt to changing environments and exploit a wider range of resources. <laughs>